right down there is the Langosta cruise port, so we're not far at all. Here's the museum. Look, Museo de la well, Island of Cozumel. <laughs> We have food here too. So it's four dollars a person and there's four rooms. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Got our armbands. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks. There's four rooms. There's one upstairs. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to come here. We didn't make it last time. Oh, and I asked if I could take pictures and she said yes. Thank goodness. You guys, I love Day of the Dead. It just has a special place to me. I don't know why, but it does. And I just love stuff like this. I would love to have something like that in my house. Let's just in the cemetery we went to with the same stuff we used to walk uh -huh. in. And the back. Buildings. We went to the cemetery last year on the Day of the Dead when yeah. they had decorated the graves and stuff. Check it out. Go to playlist, click on Carnival Fantasy, and then look at the um, list of videos and it's in there. This is like, what is this? A Day of the Dead tree? <gasps> I want some of these so bad. I want one of those dolls. The little skeletons. Yeah. Wow. The dolls are so cool. Wow. Sculpture all made out of lids. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, if they sold these, I would buy those. Yeah, I was to say. I wonder if it's a gift shop. It's like handmade. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ooh, antibacterial hand gel. I'm about to use some of that stuff. I knew this place would be awesome. I knew it. It's just so authentically <sighs> Mexico. Like it's- I love Mexico. I love Mexico, but everything is just so- Authentic. Hand done, you know. It's true. It's like, you know that someone came out here and like, you know, like made it's this true. stuff, and, and it's really cool seeing it. That's a Mayan calendar. <laughs> That's so cool. Pregnant woman. Look, it, it's like the Day of the Dead display that they do. Oh, I miss it. Me too. Oh, me too. Ah, oh, I want to come back here for Day of the Dead so bad. They have a little hut. I don't know what these are for, I wonder. There's two of them. Um, I don't know, but let's look inside here. <laughs> oh, look at this. So weird. Like the cooking area. Wow. Wow. Right? Yeah, it's cool. It's very cool. What's in here? Nothing? Are we supposed to go in here? Nope, we're not. <laughs> okay. Or the bathroom. They have these things here in Mexico. Almost everywhere I've seen. And, uh, I'm going to show you the toilets. <laughs> One thing I noticed is that they, that's very close from the toilet to the door when it's shut, like your knees barely fit in there. Yeah. Unless you're, you don't have long legs. So. So there's the bathroom. Not as bad as some, I'm telling you. Yeah. This is something else you see here in Mexico. They want you to put your toilet paper in the wastebasket instead of the toilet because you know it doesn't flush when there's things in it, a lot of it. So at least they keep the wastebaskets clean. Look, this is the toilet. My leg is almost touching. And this is the door. This is, I, I just fit in here with the toilet. This is why it's hard <laughs> to do anything in these bathrooms. I think I was waiting outside the bathroom area and these ladies went in and came out and the lady goes, be a dollar. And the lady's like, what? She's like, it's a dollar. And she says, for what? She's like, it's a dollar a person to go to the bathroom. The lady goes, well, what if I don't have a dollar? We already went. And then she gave her a dollar and the lady walked off. She didn't say anything to me. So I was waiting to see if they were going to come up to us and say it was a dollar a person to go to the bathroom. Which, it didn't say that, it just says banos. It doesn't say a dollar or any kind of fee. Wouldn't that be weird? You pay $4 for the museum, they charge you a dollar to go to the bathroom? I think that really is one of money. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering. She did have a shirt on from here, though. So? So we're in this room, which I think we're going to learn some history right now. Oh, it's air conditioned. Nice. Oh, where you press the button, it lights up the different sites of Cozumel, which is an island, you guys, and it's not very wide at all. <laughs> Endangered species. Let's watch. Endangered species. No, it's not on there. It's not in danger. Hmm. Oh, flamingo. That's not in danger, is it? It's on there. A flamingo. Are you serious? Yeah. This is yeah. teaching you about oh, the mangroves. Where? I don't hold it. 
Oh, it's a big snake. I dreamt about snakes last night. Ooh, it's a real stuffed snake, I think. Scary. That's not a real alligator, I don't think. She thinks that big snake isn't as scary as that little alligator, huh? Yeah. It's true. They're little teeth, man. The guy at um, the Gator Park in the Everglades last year told us that a four-year-old alligator, which isn't very long at all, can bite your hand clean off. Oh, bring back memories, Minara. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Look at that. You see yourself, you guys? Oh my goodness. Banara. This is the coolest. You're supposed to put your, both your eyes in here and you see yourself in oh. that face. Do it, it's so fun. <laughs> oh my I love God. it. See, your eyes are put in that lady's face and you look like you're the skeleton. <laughs> Isn't that the coolest? Yes. Banara says it's very anime-ish. Yeah. And it's 600 pesos. Who's I didn't know they sold these. Who's drawing anime day of the dead stuff? That's cool. Wow. Oh, buy that. 10,100 pesos and I could take I couldn't take it home. <laughs> it's for sale. This is for sale. I couldn't get that home. How much is it? 1,800. That's all? 1,800 pesos? I don't know how much that is, but I don't think it's that much. I know that 30 pesos is $2-ish. Figure that out. <laughs> wow. Is that a mask or is it just a... It's a mask, I think. Wow. That is really neat, isn't it? Yeah. I love this stuff. <laughs> Look at her bony legs. Oh, sexy. Here on the island. Na, 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 na. Am I just weak or is this door like super hard open? Both. I'm joking. I'm singing a Barbie song. Rude. Symbiosis. We're going to have us a little homeschool lesson in here, aren't we, Minara? Yep. Look, it's coral. All kinds of coral, man. Whoa, what you guys can't take. You're not allowed to take coral if you find any yesterday. It's red velvet coral. Ew, mm. give me some of the Ew. Yesterday, in, at the beach there in uh, Mahawal, they had some family. Ooh, brain coral. No, it looks like it. They, some family was picking up all kinds of little coral in the water and taking it with them, and you're not supposed to do that. Oh, cool, it looks like it's underwater. Ooh, look at all those fish and the coral reefs. That's really neat. Look, it's just like being snorkeling, but not. But not. Eh. What, what are they? Oh no, there's dead fish. Oh my god. Why did I have to do that? <laughs> Why? Okay, this is cool. This is like what it looks oh. like. <gasps> look at that. <gasps> oh my heck no. What she's talking about. Okay, okay in the divers right here. Okay. Top oh, it shows them? Yeah. Look. So there, there's the sand, okay? And then there's a the little shallowish part, except we're not that shallow because there are divers. See the little divers? All over in this area. And then they go deeper. Oh, there's a diver, a brave diver. And then let me tell you from experience. If you'd like to pause here and go to our playlist on our channel and open up the Sea Cruisers, Norwegian Escape group cruise vlogs last December and click on the day where it says like two snorkeling spots or some kind of private sailboat, something like that. Go to that video. I, in that video, am recording underwater where it's exactly like this. Oh we were God. 30 feet deep and it was just murky dark with plain white sand on the bottom. It literally changed from spectacular reefs to just 30 feet deep murky water, which we had to swim through to get to the freaking Sailboat. Oh. But thank goodness there was oh. no drop off like this. Are there snorkelers down there? Divers no. down there? No. <laughs> In Grand Cayman, they have that giant ledge. They take submarines and it literally goes to the edge and it goes down like a thousand feet or yeah, something. Or a mile. What? I don't even know yes, what it is. You wouldn't be doing that. Never. Not me. Never. Also in those cruise vlogs. Wow, it sounds really loud all of a sudden. I feel like I was just yelling with a microphone because of the echo. We did do spectacular snorking, snorkeling. Snorking. We were right above it like this, literally. But my dang underwater case made everything blurry, even though it was spectacular. Now the hard part was I freaked out once because you don't want to touch the coral. And that's what they're saying here. You don't want to moor over the coral. You don't want to stand on the coral and break it. You don't want to touch the coral. You don't want to do any of that stuff. So I was freaking out because I was right above the coral and I, I didn't want to like be stuck in it because it was nothing but coral and I started to have a little panic. It will chop you up. 
Well, Elizabeth was holding my arm the whole time, and so I just started to panic, and she scraped her leg, I think, on a fire coral because it was burning and bleeding, and I felt so bad. But um, it was kind of a really scary thing. That's why I didn't want to go over a bed of coral after that because it looks like in your goggles that you're right above all the coral, and you don't want to move. And then how would you get out if you have a giant bed of coral and you, you can't get out? That's just my fear coming through <laughs> because you can't stand up and you can't turn around and you can't do anything. And so I just freaked out a little, but it was spectacularly beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. The boat was like that and they had the big anchor going down to the dark oh sea God. bottom. Look, this is realistic. They put a lot of garbage down there, which is sad. It's sad. Except for what's not realistic is the spider webs at the bottom of the ocean. Shut up. <laughs> That's scary to me. So scary. Scary. I actually started to have a panic attack on the way back to the boat too. When I, and then I just didn't look down because I couldn't look down at 30 feet deep. I couldn't do it. But I would do it again. <laughs> oh, look at that. Interesting. We have a little tiny, tiny diamonds. I bet that's cumin. Oh my god. Doors push in, they don't pull out. Don't they usually pull out? Push. But don't we pull doors instead of push them at home? Yeah. Mm -hmm, that's what I thought. So this is a room of just art. I wish I knew the peso conversion right now because I could just be like, oh, this is only $60 or that's $80. Menara bought an amazing painting, which she named Gerard last year. During the Day of the Dead Festival, it was $60. 50. I'm pretty sure it was 2,000 pesos. So maybe that's the conversion. Pretty sure it was, or 20,000 pesos. I don't know. What is this? Door or something? It's a prison cell. A pretty prison cell. Beautiful prison cell. They're little fold-up chairs. <laughs> They're only 500 pesos. I don't think that that's that, that much. It's really cute. Yesterday it was, he said 30 pesos was $2. Now I don't know if that's rounded up or rounded down. But our guacamole was like $5 and it was 90 pesos. So let's say even if it was $6 for 100 pesos. So 500 pesos would only be like $30 and that would be really cheap. I think, personally. Those are cute. I like a step stool. It's a guest book, you sign it. See, all these different people from different places. Let's look real quick. Where's this person from? Texas, American, <laughs> Italia, USA, American. American. That person's American. really old. Oh my God. USA, USA, that's that my guess. That person brought their own pin. Only old people carry pins with them. <laughs> <laughs> Prints too small for old people to read. Need bigger <laughs> posters we can read. Oh my God. See, people, old people write like old, you know? Love the museum, good price, very interesting subjects, nature, culture, history. Art, they forgot the art. And our sitting here filling this thing out and then I was putting on my lip balm and then I looked over there and saw that, that looks real. And then I had like that uncomfortable like, <laughs> look, it looks real from a distance, her eyes. Does that not look like a real person looking at you? Look at that. It's one of those things from far away that looks realer, more real. We're about to walk up a bunch of stairs, yo, a bunch. Very nice, 1010 would do again. This is 1010. So it's 10 10. No, I know. Oh, Manara. Or the name. Americano. What's an M? You got the O on American. <laughs> Three, four, eighteen, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I count Sarah, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's two stories 15, 12, 16, 13, 17, 18, 18 19, 20. I think there's usually like nine to seven steps in a regular floor. 27 steps. Boom. I'm taking my picture here. You're crazy. Stop, Menara, stand right under that thing. It's a mosquito. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna poop on you. Mosquitoes don't poop. Sasquatch. Did you hear that? What is a Sasquatch? I did not know this museum was so large. I mean, it doesn't seem like it is, but it's taking a while to go through and enjoy everything. Did you get a nice photo? Carnations are the uh, flower of the Day of the Dead. Someone had a Day of the Dead hat they had made and they used roses and I'm sitting here like, no, it has to be carnations, okay? Wow. Well, look at this. I asked the dude if there's nowhere to buy water like an hour ago and he said no. Right up here. Oh, nice, huh? Ooh. This is so cool. This is on the roof. This is on the second floor of the museum. Museo. 
We're getting a bottle of water, it's two bucks, 25 pesos. And we're gonna sit down and use the internet for just a minute. I wanna upload my pho photos. What's the Google photo thing called? It's the Google it's photo thing. Google photos. And I'm gonna put them on there just real quick. But look, there's the carnival uh, fantasy. It's so pretty, isn't it? I haven't been up to an upstairs little car yet before. Either, it's so cool. It's so it's nice. Like yeah, ever. I love it. Seriously. So we got our water, it was $2. I think I just already told you that. And we're sitting here trying to use the internet. <laughs> Put in the big old long password and hopefully it'll work. It's just connecting. Oh my God, I'm on airplane mode. No wonder. I turned it on so I could charge my phone quickly today. Look at the horse carriage. So we've been trying for about 10 minutes now and um, I even had him come over and watch me, it didn't work, and I even had him try. He tried for like multiple minutes and he says, no, it's not working, sorry. So there's that, we'll have to get, buy some water somewhere else too and use the internet. Cause I need to check something before I go home. And I don't want my pictures in my Google photos. Let's just finish our water and go finish the museum, okay? I've just been stand, staring out here, just so relaxed and happy. This has been the perfect cruise. Oh, you miss your little snake. Yeah. I'm in love with this, like really I am. Wow, I want it. <laughs> Man, if I had $1,400, I would buy that picture. $1,375, it, it was, it was 22,000 pesos. Look how neat. Ooh, lots of artifacts, I love, this is what I love right here. These are among the pottery pieces found on the island. There are many ceremonial burners. Wow, this is what I like. So cool. Look at that Menarche's two fingers. <laughs> How much do you think that thing weighed? Weighs. And could you imagine wearing one of those and going into the water? No way. Not me. I love it when the bottles get encrusted and stuff from being under the water. Look at that cross. And the spoons. Those are all silverware. It's like a bunch of them in there, I think. Look at those beautiful crosses. Okay, we're done. We're done with the museum. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. So adorable. <laughs> so what did you think of the museum? I thought it was amazing and I spent way more time here than I thought I would. Yeah, four bucks and it was just awesome. Wow. Just, so just the art alone is worth it. Immersive and just like seeing all this stuff that's like so a hand yeah. done. The culture and the yeah. art and everything. I totally recommend it. It's right here in town you guys at the... Yeah. Right in town. It's 2.20. Basically we have like two hours to be, we have three hours to be back on board. I gotta look in that box again. But I want to be back on board in two hours so we can clean up and go to dinner, which is at 5.15. Yeah. Minara loves this, of course. It's so cool. Wait a minute, that one upstairs was 22,000 pesos, which came to $1,375. This one's 4,000 pesos, four, eight, 12. That's like one-sixth the price. It would only be like $230 or something. Dang. Yeah. That's so fast. This would be like six or $700. Now I have an idea of prices. One more time. So cool. See the two eyes going here and you, it looks like you're in the skeleton face. This is $44, you guys. $44. That would be hard to get home though. It's a paper mache. Its eyes don't look real up close. They look real when you get farther away. It looks more and more and more real. Look at that. Yeah, look at it. <laughs>